tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Daniel Tiger and his family are going to take us on a tour of the big pink Barbie dream house. This is a very old toy. As you know, I love old toys and giving them life. And Tiny Treasures and Tiny Treasures Mini have been playing and making little accessories inside the front door. They've made a table made out of cardboard and fabric. And there's a little tablet that says 305 Saturday. And if we head over to the kitchen, you can see cupboards full of jams and jellies. And there's a blue sink. Oh, why is there a brush on the stove? That's not safe. Underneath, they made little cups with straws. And we'll head into the living room against the window. There's, oh, there's Kitty out the window. Big stretch, Kitty. There's a little reading nook. And there's lots of pillows and some beautiful stained glass windows with flowers. Daniel Tiger and her sister love to read. Now, if we head into the main part of the living room, Tiny Treasures and Tiny Treasures Mini have Barbie and Ken set up on the couch and there's a little baby in a pink outfit and her big sister is on the floor playing on the soft carpet. Now the kids also made a TV out of cardboard. It sits on the mantle with flowers, pictures and books. And they also cut out this carpet using a soft fabric. Oops, it's very soft. Okay. Now for a special surprise. Let's put Daniel Tiger and his family over in the corner. What do you think it is, tiny fans? This is very neat. It's an elevator. And I just push the white switch up. And up, up, up they go past the windows. And up to the second floor. We'll follow them with the camera. How neat is that? And here we are in the bedroom. And if we look up above the elevator, there's a picture of the actual dollhouse they're in. Now if we head over this way, there's a white cabinet with clothes inside. Tiny Treasures is learning to sew on a sewing machine. And Tiny Treasures has sewn two little skirts for the dolls. And they're pink, just like the bed. B for Barbie. What's this? Trying to, oops, slipped out of my fingers. Oh, it's a little laptop computer they made. How cute. And then, of course, Baby sleeps in the white crib. And Big Sissy sleeps on this day bed. And then over here is where they brush their teeth. There's a little sink and a mirror. Can you see yourself, Daniel? There you are. Now, this is really neat, too, Tiny Fans. It lifts up and... It turns into a huge bathtub. There's flowers and a towel, and it's so big, it's almost like a pool for Daniel Tiger. We'll have to fill it up in another video. Have some fun in the water. Ooh, and look at this beautiful stained glass window. I love stained glass. All the details are so cute. Well, it's time to go down the elevator again. I hope you enjoyed the tour of our Barbie Mansion. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are visiting the Teletubbies and Nunu at the Tubbytronic Superdome. Let's open the blue doors and go inside. 
and it opens up. There's Poe, Tinky Winky, and Nunu. And there's Dipsy and Lala. And you can see they have a tubby toaster behind them. But the tubby toaster isn't working. It's broken. So the Teletubbies had to go to the grocery store and they bought thick and fluffy Eggo Belgian waffles. Mmm. And there are two little raspberries. It's actually a little Shopkin surprise. The Teletubbies have a slide in the middle of their house. But it's almost too small for our Teletubbies. Let's go outside to the big yellow slide. Poe wants to stop in the garden and show you our poor bunnykin's plate that broke. So instead of throwing it away, we're reusing it and putting it in the garden as a decoration. I see a sign of spring, don't you, tiny fans? Right by Poe's feet. I can see some little spring plants popping through the dirt. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Perfect day for a slide. The Teletubbies are all lined up, waiting their turn. Who is first in line? It's Lala, and she's yellow just like the slide. Second in line is Tinky Winky. Whee! Third in line is Dipsy. He's wearing his hat. Whee! And fourth is Poe. It's hide and seek time. Did you spot the little Dora doll earlier in the video? Time to say goodbye to the Teletubbies. Bye bye. And we close the blue doors. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Ooh, they're stuck. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Who's home at the Fisher Price house today? Let's ring the doorbell. It's the Peppa Pig family. And let's see who's upstairs. It's Peppa and George. Peppa is in her party hat. Today is her birthday. Mummy, Daddy, I'd like to go for a long walk on my birthday today. Peppa loves to be in the forest. It makes her feel happy. Come on, everyone. Let's follow the trail this way. Oh, look, some pot berries. They make a popping sound when I step on them. Okay, Peppa, it's time for your gift. It's in the garage. Daddy Pig opens the garage door. It's a toy phone. But I wanted a real phone for my birthday, not a toy phone. Peppa, that is no way to speak. You need to show more appreciation and respect. You know that we will not let you have a real cell phone until you're 18. There's no need for you to have your own phone. <coughs> That's right, Peppa. We never had cell phones as kids. We went outside, played with our friends, and spent time with our families. What really makes us happy in life is making connections with people and nature, not stuff. You have to learn to appreciate what you have and not what you don't have. Do you understand? Yes, Mommy. Daddy, I'm sorry. I realize that the things that make me the happiest are spending time with the ones I care about and trust. And I'm not going to ask for any gifts for my birthday next year because I don't need anything. I feel awful for being so rude earlier. Mommy, Daddy, 
Can you please forgive me for my awful behaviour? Of course, Peppa. We love you very much. I love you too, Mummy and Daddy. Thank you for the gift. Hello. Oh, hello, Peppa. It's me. Oh, and it's a learning phone. Ooh, I'm going to pick the counting. Oh, I love to make cupcakes. Three cupcakes. Mmm, banana. Three plus six is nine. Bye bye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're visiting one of our special toys at the Play Family House by Fisher Price. Let's ring the doorbell. It's Daniel Tiger and he has been expecting us. Let's open up the house and see what's going on inside. Daniel Tiger and his mom are in the kitchen. It's baking day at home, part of their at-home school routine. What are you making today? We are making homemade peanut butter chocolate cups. We have some gluten-free graham crackers that we're crushing up in a bowl. And then we add some peanut butter to a pot so that we can warm it and melt it. We add the peanut butter to the graham crackers with a little bit of sugar. Next, we melt organic dark chocolate chips in a pot that sits in some hot water and the chocolate melts until it's nice and smooth. Once the chocolate is fully melted, we pour some into these cupcake liners. That will be the bottom layer of our peanut butter cup. Then we add a big spoonful of the peanut butter, sugar, and graham crackers. And then we pour chocolate on top of that. We chilled it in the fridge for at least three hours. And when they came out, they looked just like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh, yum, I can't wait to take a bite. This was a very simple recipe and there was no bacon in the oven. Daniel Tiger is now outside with baby Margaret and he wanted to show us these little white petals. They are falling from the trees and it makes it look like there is snow falling from the sky. The spring blossoms are starting to fall off of the trees. Oh, Daniel Tiger is pointing to something over by the house. It's a bird's nest and there's a robin inside. She must be laying eggs. I'm going to use my camera and my tripod to see. Oh, there are four robin eggs. Aren't they a beautiful color? That's called robin's egg blue. After outside time, Daniel Tiger cleans his room. Oh, it looks very tidy, Daniel. Great job. It's time to say goodbye. What an adventure. Thanks for letting us visit today. And tiny fans, if you want to help support our channel and help us continue to grow, please subscribe. It's really important. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're visiting Anna and Elsa at the Fisher Price Little People House. We have a surprise in the back. Let's go check it out.
First, we have a stop at the side of the cabin. It's time for a slide down the yellow chimney. Anna goes first, moves out of the way, and now Elsa's turn. What's behind the big red garage door? Oh, it looks like some sort of kit. It's called the original Miracle Melting Sparkling Unicorn. And in another video, we did a... Oh, there's Olaf! We did a Melting Olaf kit with Anna and Elsa after playing in the snow. Inside we have the white sparkling putty. And then we have all of the accessories to build our unicorn. We have the legs. Oh, and here is the unicorn horn. The beautiful rainbow mane. And I slowly build my unicorn. And now all we need to do is wait and watch it slowly melt. I love the glitter in the putty. Let's do time lapse. And after about 10 minutes, this is as much as our unicorn melted. Okay, tiny fans, earlier in the video, did you see which Disney princess was hiding beside the cabin behind the tree? If you didn't catch it, you can go back and have a look. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. You can push the link below to subscribe. Goodbye! Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Sometimes when I come into my studio to film, somebody is sitting in my chair. Today, most of us in the world are at home. And the Teletubbies are at home too. What do the Teletubbies toys do all day? Well, Poe and Lala are reading one of their favorite books together. They are taking turns reading. Can you read the title of the book? The Elves and the Shoemaker. Reading is a great way to learn and have fun. Nunu is busy, of course, cleaning up the tubby custard that has spilled all over the floor. Sometimes cleaning has to be done and the kids love to help me clean at home. Dipsy plays in the Teletubbies elevator, up and down. Tinky Winky knows it's important to stay connected to family and friends. So he's about to make a video call on their orange Teletubbies phone. The Teletubbies also love to cook and bake when they're at home. Today, they're going to make tubby toast. We made our own healthy organic granola bars today. They were full of coconut, sunflower seeds, hemp seeds, and sesame seeds. We toasted them in the oven and we mixed them with our other ingredients. Honey, oats, butter, lots of peanut butter, 
a little bit of brown sugar, and of course some dark chocolate chips. We packed down all of the ingredients into a baking sheet and baked it for 20 minutes. This is a nice snack full of protein for the kids. It was so easy to make too. What could you bake at home with your parents? If you bake something, you can send me a picture through our Facebook page. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Uh -oh. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are outdoors today with Daniel Tiger and his family. And they are hanging out at our mushroom fairy house. I absolutely love this little fabric house. It's made of soft felt and there's pink embroidered flowers at the top. This is from Heart Song and it even comes with little fairies and shiny wings. What are we going to explore in the outdoors today, little Miss Fairy? Oh, she wants us to open the little yellow door. What's inside? Do you know what these are? They're soft, silver, and furry. They're called pussy willows. Oops, I knocked the toys over. There you go, baby Margaret. We also found a chestnut inside the mushroom house. Chestnuts fall off the tree onto the ground in fall time. And I found these in my jacket pocket as I was going to come outside to film. We won't be finding any of these on the ground since it's springtime. But maybe we can find some pussy willows. We have a giant pussy willow tree in our yard. Let's go find it, Daniel Tiger. I can see all of the pussy willows way up high. Let's see if I can grab a branch and we can see them up close. Oh, they are so soft and they get their name Pussy Willows because another name for a cat can be a pussy cat. And these resemble tiny cat's paws. So that's how they get their name. And these are actually going to turn into flowers. They get their soft furry coating of hair so they can insulate the early blooms from cold temperatures. Are you seeing this little bug that's climbing on the pussy willow? I wonder where he's going. Speaking of bugs and insects, once these pussy willows bloom, the bees come out. And I've cut a few branches, only a few because I like to leave them for the bees. And I put them in a vase and they keep very well. They don't even need water. And I have some medium sized pussy willows. And then if you look at the larger ones, you can see the yellow blooms starting to pop out. Look at how big these ones are. They turn bright yellow in color. Thanks for learning with us today and thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies are sitting around Mr. Magic Tree. All of a sudden, Poe disappeared and turned into a big crystal blue ball. Mr. Magic Tree said the only way they can get their friend Poe back is to go through the fairy door and find the magic fairy book in the fairy house. There's the door, with a sign that says, Believe in fairies? They hope you do. Make a wish. It might come true. The Teletubbies enter the door. And it takes them to a magical fairyland. Look, there's a rainbow unicorn in the field. 
the Teletubbies search for a fairy home. Maybe over here. They find a table with fruit inside a basket. But they don't take the fruit because they don't know who it belongs to or where it's come from. Lala walks right up to the fairy house. Now we need to search for the magic fairy book. Can you help us, tiny fans? Hmm, there's a milk bottle and a little sink, chair, a beautiful painting of a fairy. And what's up the ladder? It's a little bedroom. The Teletubbies look upstairs and downstairs, but they can't find the magic fairy book. Under the table? How about over here? Oh, there are two books. Lala spots a book under the counter. This is it! The magic blue fairy book. The Teletubbies must get back to Mr. Magic Tree. Mr. Magic Tree uses the magic book to turn Poe back into herself again. Teletubbies are so happy to have their friend back. But Poe wakes up and realizes that was all a dream and there's no such thing as magic fairy books. Okay, tiny fans, it's quiz time. What three different fruits were in the bowl in the fairyland? If you don't know, have a look back. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Tombly Boos and I are going to make the Tombly Boo bush rainbow colored with all sorts of rainbow play-doh. Are you ready, Tombly Boos? Tombly Boo! We've made these long, long ropes of Play-Doh and we're gonna wrap them around the Tombly Boo bush to make it a nice, pretty rainbow. Isn't it going to be nice, Tombly Boos? Tombly Boos! We have yellow Play-Doh first. What color is this Play-Doh? It's orange. Ooh, and it looks so bright against the yellow. What color comes next, Tombly Boos? We have red. And the red is very close in color with the orange. But if you look very carefully, they are different. And we're going to just fix this. Okay, now I've done the red. And we have two kinds of green. We have a light green that we're going to put on first. And green is the same color as the Tombly Boos bush. Isn't it, Tombly Boos? And then we have a darker green. Looking very, very nice, Tombly Boos. Next, we have our light blue. Oh dear, let's try that again. Wrap it around. And then we have our darker blue. All right, so I've got all of the blues added onto the Tombly Boo bush. I have, the last one I did was an, an aquamarine. And now we're gonna add our pinks and our purples. So we're gonna add our purple. And it's starting to look a bit like a beehive. A beautiful rainbow beehive. Hey, Tombly Boos. Okay, and last color will be our pink color. And then the Tombly Boos bush is all finished. <gasps> Doesn't it look wonderful, Tombly Boos? Tombly Boo! Tombly Boo! Tombly Boo's dancing on the roof. Woo! And the Tombly Boo's
are going to have so much fun and have a rainbow party with everybody in the night garden. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to play with Peppa Pig and her family. But where is Peppa, Daddy Pig and Mommy Pig? They are away and little George is in his little dinosaur pajamas having a nap. And Susie Sheep is looking after him. And what is Susie Sheep watching on the television? Who's that? Mr. Potatoes on TV. But Susie Sheep would like a snack while she's eating TV while she's watching TV. Hmm. What shall I have to eat? Let's see what's in the fridge. Hmm. I see cupcakes. I wonder if they would mind if I had one of their cupcakes. I'll take the pink one. And Susie Sheep ate the cupcake. I hope that that's okay that I had a cupcake. I'm going to continue to watch Mr. Potato. Mm, nah. Dinosaur. Mama. George has woken up from his nap. George is hungry. Oh, hello, George. You're up from your nap, are you? Would you like a little snack? So Susie Sheep goes to the fridge and asks George, what would you like to eat, George? Cupcake! Susie Sheep takes the last cupcake out of the fridge and gives it to George. There you go, George. Eat it up. Now there are no more cupcakes left in the fridge. Okay, George, let's watch Mr. Potato together. As George and Susie watch Mr. Potato, Peppa, Daddy Pig, and Mommy Pig pull up in their car. <coughs> We're home! says Daddy Pig. Peppa says, Daddy, I cannot wait to have my cupcake. I've been waiting all day for my cupcake. Very well, let's park the car and you can go have your cupcake. Peppa hops out of the car. Hello, George, and hello, Susie. How was the day? Oh, just wonderful. George just had a nap, and we're watching Mr. Potato on TV. Very well. I'm hungry from our afternoon day at the park. I'm going to go have some food now. And Peppa goes to the fridge. And she looks inside and she sees her cupcakes are missing. Oh dear! Who ate my cupcakes? I've been saving those for all day just for a special treat. Who ate my cupcake? <laughs> oh dear! I am so sorry, Peppa. I didn't realize. I was hungry, so I went to the fridge and I saw a cupcake and I just thought, hmm, that looks mighty tasty. Please forgive me, Peppa. I promise Mummy and I will bake some more cupcakes for you. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are so excited. We have the Muppet Baby Schoolhouse playset. 
only a target. This was very hard to get, but we finally have it. It comes with a little Kermit figure, and there's a swing, a spinning ride, and three slides. And there are all the Muppet babies peeking behind the house. Now, even though this set only comes with Kermit, we have our other Muppet Baby toy figures on their way. I must admit, this wasn't the easiest toy to get out of the box. There was a lot of cutting, so you'll need help from an adult to get it out. First, we'll start at the front door. The yellow door opens and closes. Inside is a big purple comfy chair. Behind it are the little nooks where the Muppet Babies can keep their jackets and backpacks. Can you see which one belongs to Kermit? And this is the place for the slides. On the other side of the room is a little spinner. Every time you push it, another picture pops up. Kermit is having a ride on the purple and yellow swing. Upstairs, there's a little rocket on the wall that you can push into outer space. And this is one of my favorites, a little blue toy box. I see a soccer ball, a basketball, and here is the craft table. The window flips. You can make it daytime or you can be inside a spaceship. Kermit's hungry. Let's open the fridge. What would you like for a snack, Kermit? Hmm, he's gonna have avocado on toast. Mmm, one of my favorite snacks. Let's turn the schoolhouse around. And when I open the slides, I forgot to put on the stairs and put the little chair inside. We'll do that at the end of the video. Put the green slide over here. And the blue one here. Yellow in the middle. Kermit's going to test out the slide. Ah, Kermit, you have to put your arms forward so they don't get in the way. Let's try the green slide. Oh, this spinning toy has beautiful swirly colors. Unfortunately, it doesn't spin when I put it down, but it does when it's on my hand. We can't wait to have fun with our new Muppet Baby Schoolhouse set. Thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.